Hello, Mayday family. How are you doing today? For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Mayday and I'm a licensed counselor with a YouTube channel. Like this video for the YouTube algorithm as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Hola, 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 mi gente. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están haciendo? Um, today is Sunday. It's nice and bright outside. It's great. I hope you guys are having a good day so far. So today, I wanted to talk about something that is more and more becoming a topic of discussion. And actually, what brought this to mind, I was watching a different video on YouTube, and some of the comments is what brought this to mind for me. So today, we'll be talking about better health versus counseling. And, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about what that means and what that entails. So for those of you that, are, that don't know, BetterHelp, this is not a sponsored video. <laughs> they, they should be sponsoring me, right? But um, BetterHelp is um, a telehealth platform. So a platform that you can sign up to, pay a monthly fee and get linked with a counselor and do weekly counseling and also be able to, I guess, text uh counselors it, when if something were to transpire during the week. So the reason I chose better health versus counseling is because what's been happening a lot lately is that a lot of people are finding that they don't really get the help they need from better health, right? And and so they're directly attributing that to whether it is counseling not working or um, the counselors themselves that work at better health help <laughs> better help they're directly attributing those to be the reasons why it didn't help them or it wasn't a good experience for them um, and i'm sure there are others right so i wanted to address this because in reality I myself as a licensed counselor would not recommend better health as being your go-to for mental health services, right? And what, what do I mean by that? I mean, if you're needing a counselor, you feel like you wanna see a counselor because you, you have things that you wanna talk about or you wanna grow as an individual, my first recommendation would not be to go through better health. My first recommendation would be look up, look up counselors in your area, right? See which ones you might be interested in reaching out to, reach out to them, have a, have a session or two, fill them out. If you're comfortable, great, keep going. If not, try a different counselor. That's what my suggestion would be. And the reason for that is because what a lot of people don't realize is when you sign up for better health, you're not really, you're not necessarily getting a licensed counselor, right? So better health contracts with anyone that's licensed within the, the, um, within the kind of like the clinical mental space, right? The, the, the mental clinical space, however you want to work that, right? So for example, if you are a licensed social worker, you can get contracted with better health. And so you're sitting there as a licensed social worker doing counseling on other people, but you're not trained to do counseling as a licensed social worker. You're trained to do social work, very different from counseling. And so you as a consumer you don't know that, right? You don't know if this person is actually even licensed to do counseling on you, right? And so that's the service that you might be getting, right? Also, another thing to keep in mind is that platforms like BetterHelp, and there's others too, there's other platforms as well, but those types of platforms usually do not pay the therapist very well. So a lot of times, licensed professionals will sign up to that platform in order to make maybe like just additional side income, but not necessarily because they're going to do in-depth therapy with you. Because again, as therapists, we do have to be compensated for our time because we also have bills to pay and things like that. 
And so whatever the main job of that therapist is, is going to take precedence over better health or whatever platform they might be working on, just because those platforms don't pay very well. It's those platforms are better suited, in my opinion, from what I've researched and seen, are better suited for maybe just some side income. So licensed professionals might do maybe five hours a week on there or 10 hours a week just to get some additional cash flow on top of their main their main um, job or career, right? It's not really a job at this at that point. It's more, it's a career at that point. So on top of their main career goals and career paths. So you also have to keep that in mind. So essentially when it comes to mental health, you know, in a lot of ways you get what you pay for. So if there's a cost issue and you're finding it hard to afford, like an individual counselor, then sure, you can try better help and see if that works for you. However, just keep that in mind because a lot of people say, oh, well, individual counseling is so expensive. Well, I mean, if you want to work with a dedicated professional who literally does this for a living so you can see results, then are you going to put your own mental health on discount? Or are you going to put that on sale, right? I don't think you should. I don't think your mental health should be what you choose to put on sale or on discount. You know, so if, if you find the, the right, when you find the right professional that you want to work with, be willing to pay the associated costs, right? To make sure that you are in a healthy space mentally, right? Because you want your therapist in a healthy space mentally too. And therapists do have um, bills. And not only that, we are ex we are called to be experts and they're very knowledgeable in what we do. So what does that mean? That means we go through years of schooling. We get out of schooling. We go through board testing, national board testings as well. And then we get a temporary license, essentially a license as an associate. So not even like a full license. And then we have to hold that for a number of years, all in the meanwhile, getting a minimum required amount of experience. So there's just, so you're paying for the expertise that you need to make sure that your mental health is being taken care of. So you need to understand that when you go to places like Better Health, you're not necessarily going to get that. You're not necessarily going to get like that dedicated support, dedicated one-on-one -on -one time um, or that extra, not even extra, but that like in-depth, I should say, um, diving into maybe the issues or the core of the issues, right? So you want to keep that in mind too. So you know, when it comes to better health versus direct counseling, I will say this, direct counseling is not better health. Better health is there for maybe if you can't afford it, you can't afford counseling, you might want to try better health, right? Um, maybe if you already have a counselor that you're working with and you want additional support during the week, then you could get better help for that additional layer of support if you're going through something in this current moment that's really traumatic. But single-handedly going to better help thinking, oh, I'm going to work with a counselor for $60 a month. You know, you should already know you get what you get. <laughs> and it's not there to actually target you and make sure that you grow in your issues, right? Um, you might get that, you might not, you might get the semblance of that, right? And you might not even know the difference until you actually maybe one day work directly with a type of therapist or a psychologist and you see the difference. So, oh, okay, there's a difference. So, you know, that's what I think. I think that if all of those things need to, need to, you need to keep those things in mind. You also need to be open to therapy. One of the comments that I saw was someone saying, well, I really didn't feel like talking like that, like that in the moment. And I didn't want to do it in person. So that's why I chose BetterHelp. It wasn't an issue 
of costs. So my response to that comment was like, well, if it's not an issue of costs, then why didn't you just find a counselor to work with directly and tell them that oh, like what you're wanting to do is either over the phone or telehealth if it wasn't an issue of cost, right? Because that individual was complaining and they were, oh, it didn't work for me. It didn't help. I had to grow on my own. And it's like, well, you want to better help. That's the first issue. If you're really wanting to grow, then find an actual counselor. Do the work to find someone to do counseling with, <laughs> you know? Secondly, I don't even, it doesn't even sound like you were in a place where you were ready to go through therapy. If you're not ready to talk, there's a good chance you're not ready to go through therapy. A, a good chunk of therapy is talking, right? But if you're at least ready to see if you're ready to talk, that's different. That's a different mindset. That's a different mind frame. So you have to be able to take responsibility for things. And that's something that I'm not going to lie. It gets me heated when I see people, oh, it didn't work for me because my counselor was this and that. Listen, with this particular individual, I was like, here's the cold, hard truth. Your thinking pattern is dysfunctional. It's not, it doesn't work for you. That thinking pattern is not effective because if you really wanted care and you re really felt like this might be helpful, be the in-person was the only issue, then you shouldn't have tried to cut corners. Why go to better help? instead of going directly to a counselor. You get what you pay for a lot of times, a good chunk of the times, unless you get lucky, you get what you pay for. And what you don't wanna do is take the risk of your mental health, right? Also, if you're like, oh, I wasn't in a, a, a place where I'm ready to talk like that. Well, you need, to, you need to get to a place where you're ready to talk or at least ready to see if you're ready to talk because you might be feeling like you're ready to talk. You know what I mean? We gotta have something to work with, you know? Otherwise you might not even be ready for counseling, right? So let me, let me, let, you know, this video has gone a lot longer than I anticipated. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. It helps the channel out a lot and helps me out a lot to keep getting better at putting out content for you. I need a new camera because I have a camera that works okay, but not so much because I might be able to film one video and then it dies, like the battery runs out or whatever. Anyways. But to continue to kind of improve on, this, on, on my videos and these projects, it helps out a lot. So go ahead and hit the like button if you found this at all helpful. Also, go ahead and subscribe to the Mayday Familia um, and leave a comment below. Any questions that you might have, any topics, I'm more than happy to make more videos on that. And I will be making more videos on that. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.